good evening. Uh, I'm Jackie at uh, Surf. So at Surf, I'm senior IS developer at Surf. So at Surf, we are doing a digital marketplace. So if you are a photographer or you like to take uh, nice pictures, you can upload it here. It's already live. It's fixsurf.com. Uh, or if you are businesses, you want to find uh, images that uh, suits your business needs or uh, you run a campaign, so you want to find an images that suit your campaign, then you can find it here as well. Right. These are some of the samples. And of course there's an iOS app, but uh, Unfortunately, it's not in the App Store yet. We'll submit it on Monday. Uh, hopefully, next week you can download it already. Right. So this is my profile. Yeah. Why? Why is so like that? Yeah. Right. Uh, let's go back to the main topic. So this this talk is about uh, peer to peer networking with uh, in iOS. So we will try to replicate the the experience you have in Nintendo Switch. So, anybody who has no idea what this is? Everybody know this is, right? Uh, anybody who owns one? Nobody owns one? Right. Is it too expensive? Right, so I'm going to play a short advertisement of Nintendo Switch. So, it's a cut off version because the original are quite uh, long. with a peer-to-peer -peer networking. It's some, there's something called, uh, right, there's a, something called multi-peer connectivity. Anybody heard of this or used use this before? Right. So nobody has ever used it before? Right. Or really? It's already so from uh, iOS 7, but uh, not many people know it actually. Uh, so basically, what you need to do is do just connect uh, two devices. Uh, it can be iPhone to iPhone, iPhone to iPad, or any combination of that. But it doesn't work on the Apple TV because uh, Apple TV already have a remote, so it's uh, different from from this. Right. So this one. Uh, basically, in this peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking, you need to designate one as the advertiser, one is the browser. So the advertiser will uh, advertise its service and the browser will find its, uh, the advertiser and connect to it. Right. And both can be sender and receiver. Okay. So it's not like one sender, one receiver, so both, both can be uh, sender and receiver at the same time. And both also can be advertiser and browser at the same time, but for the sake of simplicity, we just keep it this way. Right. So let's jump straight away to the code. 
Uh, so first you need to import the framework multi-peer connectivity and uh, by the way this is from the advertiser's point of view so you have advertiser, you have browser this from the advertiser's point of view uh, you need to implement the delegate right here, here is quite straightforward right and this is the most important thing uh, you need to establish a session uh, without the session, or your session is near your app may crash during the during the site of well, during the transaction. And since we are the advertiser, you just uh, inis initialize a new object of the uh, advertiser. And this is one of the delegate did change, so you can detect whether it's uh, connecting, connected, or not connected. Okay. Uh, don't bother about the code first, we just care about the delegates. So this, this is the part where you receive the data. So uh, if two devices connected, one device send the data to another, then this is where you will process your data that's received. And you start advertising. And that's where uh, the advertiser advertises its service. So it's already running until here. So uh, based on this, we are going to create a game uh, to utilize this uh, functionality. So this is our game. So anybody who doesn't know what this character is? <laughs> right. So everybody knows. Right? Uh, then we will connect to this game using uh, iPhone. So this is a separate. So this is in the iPad. This is in the iPhone. So you want to connect. Uh, these two together so you can play. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a video of that uh, demo. Uh, actually, I plan to show it live, but I haven't set it up yet, but uh, you can try it later after the talk. So, so this is the demo. So you have a Mario game on the iPad and you have the controller on the iPhone. And that's... So if, if you do anything here, it will not do anything because it's, it's two devices are not connected. So that, that's what I showed you just now, start advertising. So there's a nice interface here on the browser. I think connect to set. Okay, it's connected. And you can control the Mario by using an iPhone. It's pretty cool, right? Right, so let's get back to here. Okay, so this is the, from the browser's uh, point of view, which is your iPhone, the controller just now. So same thing, you, in, you implement your framework, uh, the delegates. And yeah, initialize the browser object. And the same, uh, the, the, the rest are similar to the advertisers. So we have uh, this uh, did change uh, delegate. And this is, yeah, this is where you, you want to send your data. So actually this is a uh, gesture recognizer. You, I use it to detect the movement of the joypad. So this, you, uh, okay, actually I embed the movement to a dictionary, then I, I carve it to a data, NS data, and then I sign it, send it out to this session object. That's why your session cannot be near, otherwise it will crash here, right? <coughs> so it only accepts uh, NS data, so you need to convert anything to NS data first before you sign it up, right? <coughs> Similar thing, when, this one, when you see one was the uh, joypad, one is the button, right? so, so this is the button that uh, make the, the Mario jump. Same thing, you embed the dictionary to the data. In this, in this case, I embed uh, something called the action, so the, the advertiser know what to do with, with the input. Yeah. All 
Alright, so this is the main game. So this is the from the advertiser's point of view. So this is where we receive the data. So just now, if you notice, I sent a action. The action jump. Action move. Right. So this is where you check. Yeah, you take your data out of the NS data and then you check what action it will do. Okay. Yeah, you can use integer or whatever. It's uh, basically just to check what which action you uh, the it should take. Right, this is the movement. And yeah, just now I already show you the, the demo, right? And the, this Mario. Right. So basically, that's that's about the multi-peer peer connectivity. It's very simple. You just need to implement the framework, implement the delegates, and you're done. Right. You just need to figure out how to send your data, how to process your data after it's received. Okay. So, but that's too short, right? So this this the bonus uh, slides. So I'll show you how I did this uh, Mario game. So do you, do you know that? Uh, uh, this Mario game is purely using UI kit, so it's not using any uh, game engine like Coco Studio or anything like that. So it's purely uh, UI kit. And do you know that uh, you can use purely UI kit to, to develop the original Mario game, the full game? Right. So I'll show you how to do that. So this is how you see when, when I move the, the background scroll, right? So. I want the background to scroll left and right, so if the Mario move to the right, the background will scroll to the left and vice versa. Right. And I want the character to be animated when I move. Okay. So basically the background is a scroll view. Okay. So you just need to modify the content uh, content offset. So usually you do a vertical, right? In the normal life you do a vertical, now you do a horizontal. Offset. So, yeah, this is the main game. So this is what what you do after you detect the movement. Uh, yeah. So so this is your score field. So if the Mario moves to the right, you want to move it to the left and the other way around. Uh, this this to flip the character. So if you move to the right, you want to scale one, then you move left, you just scale minus one. So it flip. Okay. Uh, this is where I update the Mario character. Yeah, you just this basically just check the boundary of the world. So I don't want the character to go beyond the screen, left end of the screen or right end of the screen. And that's your move rate. So to keep the movement uh, consistent. And uh, yeah, it, so it will move in the constant update. Okay, so you set the new Mario frame to your image view. And this is the character. Actually this, this is the whole image. So I don't I don't have separate images for each of the action, so everything is in the sprite. So there's only one sprite in the game. Uh, yeah, so what, what you want to do is to crop the image. So you have the right rectangle. Right so you crop uh, one, two, three. The walking animation. The last one is the jump animation. So you want to get the first three, right? And and by the way, do you know that UI image view can do animation, like GIF, similar to GIF animation? Yeah. A lot. Uh, not a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Then we just set the animation array to the. Image view, uh, animation images, and the duration. Right. And that's the the last one is just the default, the default image. Because if you don't set this, it will not appear. 
you need to set it somehow. Uh, so you appear on the screen. And this is the jump animation. So I straight away get the index three, zero, one, two, three. Right. So I get the third, the last, uh, the last rectangle of that sprite. Yeah. So if I detect the action move, so I animate the character. And for the jump. Actually, there's a uh, two blocks here. First, first you want to make the, your character jump to the sky, so you have a limit. The jump height is the uh, the jump limit. Then after that, you move, want to move it down to the ground. So you just flip, flip the that constant. Right. Then in, for the controller, just now you see uh, this cat. You don't want this uh, right circle to go beyond this, right? You want to bound it within this, uh, the base of this controller. So, uh, that's uh, pretty complicated because it uh, involves some of trigonometry, but you can easily find the code in the internet. So, that's where you send the data. This is where you calculate your uh, joypad movement. Uh, basically, it's based on this uh, trigonometry, so yeah, just browse in the internet, you can find it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is cosine and sine, so that corresponds to that, this angle is corresponding to that angle. So this, what, what this do is basically to bound the uh, circle, bound the... Uh, uh, circle to not go beyond this, so you bound it to this circle. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this uh, the same data. So, okay, just now I show you a Mario game, right? So, what do you think you can do with this uh, multi peer connectivity? Uh, one thing you can do is a uh, card game, right? So your iPad uh, act as a dealer, your phone act as the hand, so you can transfer card between uh, each, each other. Right. The other one is a space shooter. So your iPad is the game, uh, the space shooter game, then your controller, you can control your, your plane. Okay, so many, many more. And the so time. Actually, I did both of that. So one is the card game, the other one is a space shooter. Right. So I'll show you a dem uh, video of that. Okay, so this is the card game. Oops. <laughs> So this is using the same uh, the same uh, functionality as what I show you just now. So this is the browser you find whoever is advertising when you start. By the way, this, this interface is uh, built in, so you don't need to bother about this uh, interface. So, right, some animation there. Alright, then, then send, let's. Keep sending, keep sending, keep sending. There's some crappy animation there. Okay, of course you can send it back. Okay, so I can 
I can flip the card. So what what will happen if I send that flip card to that device? What will happen? Take take yes. All right. So. Right, it is sent as the flip first uh, card as well. That's uh, the card game. Now there's another one. can move your pen according to your joypad. Quite cool, right? And you can shoot. Okay. Yeah, basically, this is uh, I designed this for a two-player game. So you can have uh, one iPad to iPhone, then you can match with each other, right? Okay. Let's get back to the slide. Okay, so th this is what I found uh, after I uh, did some experiments on this. It's kind of unstable because uh, anybody who uses this uh, has experience. Because uh, it's uh, well, after you connect these two devices, sometimes it just get disconnected uh, straight away. I'm not sure why. And if you connect more than to devices, then there are high chance to for it to be disconnected. And there's a delay. Just now, when you see the space shooter game, when you press and the, the time it uh, shoot the laser, there's a slight delay. Okay. Okay. So just now, what I showed you is uh, uh, how to connect these two devices, how to transfer data between each other, but. How to implement this? Just now, the multiplayer connectivity only detect the devices, but it doesn't detect the, the distance between devices, and it also doesn't detect the relative height between the phone and the uh, iPad. So imagine, imagine cool stuff that you can do if you can do this uh, as a flappy bird. So you can control the the bird or the character using the iPhone. Right. It requires you to have this boat working. Or maybe a first person shooter game. So you just point and you can point the gun and throw the game using an iPhone. Right. Or maybe a golf game like a Nintendo Wii last time. Yeah. So if you have a suggestion, you have an idea how to do this, uh, please let me know and let everybody uh, here know. Okay. Okay, the next thing is, uh, okay, so I want this to be as generic as possible, so I want to uh, connect between uh, different platforms. Because uh, just now the multi-peer uh, framework, it only works on the iOS, and Android has their own uh, networking library, so uh, I haven't found a good way to do this uh, transfer data between uh, iOS and Android. Or maybe you need to go through some uh, low-level Bluetooth stuff, I, I'm, I'm not sure. If you have, uh, you know, uh, some libraries that can do this, or you have already have experience doing this, uh, please check. Okay. okay. Q and A session. Basically, I'm done with my talk, so this is a Q and A session. Are you using any of these fix fixer? 
Uh, no, fix. <laughs> we, we are not doing that kind of stuff. It's just my experiments. All, all things I show you is only my own experiments, not, u not used anywhere in the production uh, code. Here to hear to each other or you have to wire the wrong company? No, no, directly. Right yeah, I can show you a lot of demo after this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, okay, here. I think you can give me a name or you can give me a name. Uh, which, which one? The uh, Yeah, the Mario Kart. Uh, the Mario Kart. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you mean the Mario game? Yeah. The Mario game is all using UI kit. It's not using any game engine. Yeah. yeah that, that's why I told you that you can build the entire original Mario game just by using UI kit. Yeah. Uh, my personal. <coughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Do, I don't do any games on production, so I don't use any game engine. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I haven't go to research in detail yet. Uh, maybe you need to go through some low level global stuff, but uh, I haven't found a good way because. Uh, you go through it's very, very tough, right? Very, very technical. So if there's a library that can easily do that, then it's better. Yeah. Uh, can, can you speak louder? Ah. Oh. That, that's a game engine, right? Okay. Yeah. After you grant permission once, right? The next time you connect to your game, you have to grant permission or can I run the background and automatically You mean uh, if you advertise, then you go yes, into so background? Uh, so the game is running on iPad. Uh. I connected the first time with the accent. Uh. Now I disconnect. Uh. Now this my iPad is the vicinity. Uh, and I'm running a process in the background to check if there is a advertising. Uh, actually, based on my experience, actually when you go to the background, it's become unstable and maybe it get disconnected. Yeah. So every time you need to open the application? Yeah, yeah you, you can try it yourself. Uh, I haven't gone into this because detail. Because the screen is used in iMeetings as well, Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's yeah. the problem, that every time the user has to interact to know that the Correct. is there. Yeah. Uh. Anybody else? No more. No more, no more. Okay. Thanks, Jackie. Okay, thanks.